St. Paul, through today's second reading from the letter to the Philippians, refers to good works. Paul does so by saying, I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work in you will continue to complete it until the day of Christ Jesus. As Brant Petrie comments, with these words, Paul is both affirming the importance of good works and is affirming that by ourselves alone, we cannot earn salvation. By ourselves alone, we cannot earn heaven. This is because any good work in us that has merit before God's eyes is due to Jesus who began the good work in us and will, if we cooperate with Jesus, participate in his life, he will bring his good work in us to completion in heaven. St. Therese of Lisieux, adds Petrie, was intensely aware of her poverty before God and of her dependence on Jesus. According to Therese, in the evening of life, I shall appear before you with empty hands. Despite her awareness of her poverty before God, her emptiness before God, despite the awareness of her inability to gain entrance into heaven, Therese remained confident in hope that God will welcome her when she dies, since she trusts as a child that our heavenly, most merciful Father will clothe her in divine justice and that she will receive from God's love the eternal possession of God. The Catechism of the Catholic Church interprets St. Therese of Lisieux's words as indicating her lively awareness. There her merits, that her merits were pure grace. When we do good to others, spiritually or physically, may we not take pride in our good work deeds. The only way that our good deeds lead us into heaven is if these good deeds are rooted in the life of Jesus Christ, who alone can bring our good works to completion in heaven. Reflecting on this truth reminded me of someone who told me that he is not afraid of dying because he has helped so many people, and he described how he's helped these many people. I may not have understood why this person was so confident in his righteousness before God, and likely he did believe that apart from life in Jesus Christ, all his good works cannot lead him into heaven. Taken on face value, though, his words can indicate belief that all we need to do to be welcomed into heaven is accumulate good deeds. And then, when we die, God, in recognition of our many good accomplishments, of our wealth in good works, God will reward us with heaven. This attitude is in contrast with St. Paul's confidence and with St. Therese's confidence and with the catechism the Catholic Church is teaching. Both St. Paul and St. Therese did, do not, did not place their confidence in their good works alone, but rather their good works as begun in them by Jesus Christ as a gift of grace and completed in them by Jesus Christ in heaven. Today, may we, like St. Paul, like St. Therese of Lisieux, be both aware of our poverty, of our empty hands before God, and be confident in hope that Jesus, who by inviting us to be Catholics, will complete his perfect good work in us if, like the Blessed Mother Mary, we constantly say yes to Jesus, we constantly daily, moment by moment, say yes to Jesus saving grace, yes to Jesus completing his good works in us. God bless.